now we have understood the installation of jquery and all those things we have used it right i will try to show you how the jquery is very much useful in our uh, in our application javascript application i will show you some basic example so just basic example i will try to give you for example let's say that i have installed the jquery and main.js is also there so let's say that i am having some styles okay so i'm having some styles first one is color hyphen red so i'm having color hyphen red so this one is having color red option and i will be having dot bg hyphen red or otherwise bg hyphen green so this one applies background color background color green okay so now color hyphen red is there bg hyphen green is there now if i try to apply a class color hyphen red bg hyphen green let's see how the output will come so if i try to see the output in this one where is this yeah so here we are able to see the color is in yellow and the background color is in green fine so now what is what my requirement is i don't want to apply this bg color green i want to apply this bg hyphen green through the javascript okay i want to add this class through the javascript how can i add this one so let's try to see the first one is let's go on to the uh, main.js file uh, where is this main.js file yeah here so i am reviewing this one all so let's go on to the document dot add event listener when the dom is loaded okay so i am not using differ there if you use the differ it's not a problem or otherwise let's try to use it in the same way only so you understood those all things right or otherwise we can add it at the bottom of this one all then also we can use it not a problem so now first what i want to do <coughs> first i want to get the h1 element okay constant h1 elements is equal to document dot get elements by tag name of h1 right basically we'll try to learn one by one basic so i will try to console dot log h1 element let's close this all things here also so now we got an html collection that is nothing but an array so here you, uh, i don't so here we got an array so the, this square brackets is there right so why because we are trying to search it with the document dot get elements here we are using get elements by tag name so that means with this h1 tag name it can have multiple elements in the html so that is the reason it is giving you as an array okay fine so you can write a condition that if h1 elements we found it okay and also if h1 elements has length so just i am writing right in a plain javascript okay then afterwards we'll try to write it with the jquery so first i will try to capture the single element okay so single h1 element okay h1 element is equal to i can take h1 elements of zero i am taking it like this so this is a single h1 element <clears throat> Now for this h1 elements i want to first get the class names what are the class names available why because i need to append the class name to the existing class so here already we have a class name color i hundred i want to attach this class name from from here i don't want to replace it so what i can do first i will try to get the class names. so what are the class names we are having just we'll try, try to debug it one by one so single h1 elements h1 dot class name so we can use the class name method so let's try to see console.log and i will see console.log class names okay so what what it will try to see uh, the output will. so now it is giving you as a string that color i red is the class name it is available okay so for example let's say that i am having some other class here some random class ssa or otherwise some sample class like this we are having some sample class. so that means now what is the output it will try to give so it is giving color i red space sample hyphen class so that means it is giving it as a string so fine so we got these all the classes now what i want to do here so one thing what i can do here <clears throat> okay so what one one thing what i can do here uh, what 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 i can do is so here what we can do i can add these class names okay so i can add these class names i can add these class names plus is equal to okay and what we can do here something like uh, space bg hyphen red okay so sorry bg hyphen green and what we can do here 
so uh, what we can do here something like we can do uh, single element h1 element dot class names class name is equal to class names we can apply it like this oh sorry so like this we can apply it now if you try to see the output we are able to get it so just simple thing what we have did is a simple thing Sam color red sample class bg green we have added it so fine this is one thing for example let's say that let's say that we so this is how we are adding the class let's say that we already have a bg hyphen green okay so we already have a bg hyphen green now i want to remove that bg hyphen green so adding a bg hyphen green okay fine it's very easy so I, I took the class names i have appended the screen with a space and i again i replaced it with everything so but i already have a class <clears throat> bg green i want to remove it this time i want to remove it i don't want to add it this time i want to remove it so first what we are trying to get we got the class names here so that means so i will try to show you the class names so i i got the class names where is the console yeah so here this time we are having color red sample class bg green i want to remove only the bg green okay I want to remove only this background color some class so for let's take some example bg green i want to remove it or otherwise sample class also you can do it not a problem now first i want to remove this simple green means so this one entire thing is coming as a extra as a string right so let's try to convert it into a array so what i will do class name array so class names so that i can i can do it very easily dot split so split command uh, split method will try to convert it to an array so with using the delimiter space so here if i try to do console.log class names array if i try to see so now these are all the things will be splitted into an array so color i red sample class bg array now in this array i can remove this one which is having element of element bg green i can remove it very easily how can i remove this one using the splice so you if you remember these all methods so splice method will be used to remove an element from an <coughs> array so and also it will change the original array so if you remember slice will try to copy the elements so here we need to use the splice so splice and i need to find what i need to find <laughs> class array in that array i want to find index of pg red so where this one is actually is present i want to find it and after after that i want to remove the first element so one element i want to remove it so this is the count how many values i want i am how many elements i want to remove it so now i have removed the element so now what it will happen let's try to see the console.log class name array. okay so this all comes under the logic so how we want it so you can also proceed another way also now i have removed this bg hyphen green see the resulting array is nothing but the array which doesn't have any the class bg hyphen green now for example if i want to remove sample hyphen color i don't know what is that name sample hyphen class right so you can say that sample f and class here sample f and class so i am taking where, where this actually the index is present and after that i am removing the what element so one count count i am giving so here you, it has been removed sample f and class so like this i am trying to remove it from the array so i am converting it in array and i am playing with the array methods now we got the array okay so we know that single h1 element so this one we need to remove bg f and green right so bg hyphen green so we got the array and for the single h1 element i want to class name so i want to use it so here we got an array and we need to convert it into a string so to convert an array into a string using a delimiter we can use the class names array dot join so join using the delimiter space or otherwise i will try to show you it confused i think so if i try to show you the console dot log like this join so that means array i am dividing all the elements in the array should be should become a string with a delimiter of space now in this one you will be having color hyphen red and sample hyphen class if you try to see here so this like this it has been converted and this class i can apply to that element directly now i can use the same thing and i can apply this one to single h1 element dot class name is equal to like this i can use so now if you try to see now the background color so that means for removing a one class out of a multiple classes okay for removing one class we need to do these many steps in the javascript so we, we can have different different also but we need to take the class names in that class names we need to pick the exact class name which i want to remove it and then afterwards i need to append these all class names to that again 
by removing that one so this is these are all the steps which we will need to do using the javascript but using the jquery how we can do it very simple i will try to show you so i will i am commenting out these all things so for adding or for removing for example let's say that i have removed these all things now here we are having this one bg hyphen green i want to remove it so using the jquery how can i remove it? this one is so we are adding it at the bottom only right first we need to capture the element so for capturing this element we can use the dollar of h1 we'll try to see what is a dollar and why we are rating these all things i will we'll try to see how much easy it is there in the jquery i am trying to explain you dollar of h1 now i want to remove the class so right so there is a class where there is a method available remove class and what is the class i want to remove bg hyphen green that's it finish so it will remove the class if you try to see the output so class has been removed for this one so if i want to remove this sample hyphen class means sample hyphen class if i want to remove it means then also you can remove it so it will not bother about all those things now here if you try to remove it so here sample hyphen class is removed automatically so this color hyphen red if i want to remove it means so you can use it so with some with single method we can use this one so the, the those all logic what you have implemented those all logic has gone away for example if i uh, already we have a uh, i will try to remove these all things and i want to add a class so i want to add a class bg hyphen green so instead of using this remove class you can use an add class and here you can use bg green that's it now if you see the output bg green has been output so with a single line of code so we are able to we are we are able to skip this all the logic using the plain javascript for adding a class or for removing a class for adding a class it is somewhat easy so we can we can get the string and we can concat the string at that at the end we can do it but removing a class from a particular uh, classes list means so we need to do these all the things whereas the jquery by using a simple method remove class we can do all those things so like this we have so many of uh, methods available in the jquery bunch of methods which solves the problems very easily the common problems very easily so this is this is the sum of the uh, useful thing in the jquery how we can solve it so now we will try to learn in the next session tomorrow so what is dollar and how we can use this dollar and all those things so we'll try to uh, so by uh, we can divide these all one by one part and we'll try to see about this jquery and all this first we understood about the easiness of how the jquery solves and all this we have learned it we'll try to learn it in the next session